I'm Ben. I'm sorry. If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the filthy capitalist option. It's sorry says. 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be a part of the alliance. You don't have to be part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You hop, skip, and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times, and then get matched down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes! Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com, and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon, and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you. You, so we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive you review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is a community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in a Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together, and that helps determine what songs that we do. <laughs> the alliances hang out on Discord. Shh. Message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash Vin and Sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and uh, it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 here and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Buy our merch. Buy our merch indeed. It shall, shall lead them. To buy our merch. Yes, dear listener. Yes, dear listener. Yes, dear listener. Shout out to Ian. Shout out to Jet. I was just talking about how much I love you two. All right. Up here we go. next is Adiz Crazy Form. DJ Revo says that, this is, that is a. At ease. Is that, what you're, is that what they're trying to say? I don't know. Here's uh, here's the, uh, oh, the let little me, stream key. Yeah, uh, and I, I'm going to need actually the, the timestamp. 136. Okay. Um, so DJ Revo says, this is a boy group put together by KQ Entertainment. Compared to the other companies in this stream, this is a relatively new company with it being established in 2016. Huh. This boy group's name stands for A, Teenage Z. This is the lead single from their album, The World EP, Finn Will. The songwriters are Eden, Olauder, Maddox, Pepperoni, Olive, Kim Hong Joon, and Song Sun Min Ji. Mm -hmm. Olander also writes songs for Dreamcatcher, which you've reacted to several times before. Their music videos usually depict them in dystopian future where they're fighting the underground, in the underground. Their fandom name is A-T-I-N-Y and their ages range from 26 to 23. This was released December 1, 2023 and will be our last song from the end of last year that was still popular at the start of the year. Okay. All right, guys, go, here guys. he goes. There's Crazy a stream form. key on that side. Crazy Form is next. We are Vin and Sorry. Let's check it out. That's not right. That's not right either. <laughs> All these things are happening. All right, you guys. This is DJ Revo's birthday stream. Everybody say happy birthday to DJ yep. Revo. And it's not just a birthday stream. It's the new and trendy K-pop birthday stream. The so new get it right. and trendy K-pop. Get it right, losers. Here we go. What's the name of the band again? ATs? ATs. And Crazy Form. Let's check it out. Get up. 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 Get up.
It's gay for sure, one hundred percent. One hundred percent, he is one hundred percent. I'm not mad at him. Shout out to the homie. I um, <laughs> that's so funny. You're what? never gonna believe what I was about to say. Why? I actually like when they all. So you have like the Korean K-pop style music. The girls when they do theirs, like it's like it's like <laughs> they're trendy and cool and stuff, but they're also like very feminine. Yeah, they and are. And then. The, the guys are like, I guess you could say like beautiful masculine because they're, they're there not is like no masculine. They're not like, no, no I'm talking dudes. about like when they all sing together and they all have their deep voices together yeah and it sounds like something sort of like tribalish, like a, like a chant sort of thing. And they do like the deeper sound. Um, but I added beautiful into it because it's not like watching like, like a rap video. Like that's a different type of energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But to me, it's like, I, I don't know a, a lot about the culture and, you know, I'm not trying to be offensive, but they don't seem like, you know, it doesn't seem like that, like, maybe like the, whenever just like you say, see, just say it. What, what are you trying to say? Whenever you see like the art forms of theirs, like when you see like the guys doing it, it doesn't seem like it's like this sort of rougher. It sort of looks like it's a, this artistic refined look. Mm -hmm. So it's like, for me, it looks like the masculine, and the feminine but it's um it's in their style which is obviously different than american style or like rap versus you I'm know i'm not sure how different it actually is um considering i mean they were really hip hop is really a a major aspect of their no i'm i'm talking specifically music. about masculine and feminine energies oh the energy the energies right yeah. so you still are going to get you can still tell okay these are the this is male this is female over there but then, like, you know, it's like with rap, like there's a big difference between, OK, there's the women. They're very they're very beautiful. They're very there's a focus on their shape and their their movements. And then here's the men like rapping hard. And it's like like very seriously, like this, you know, the strength, the danger and the you know what I mean? Like they kind of like mm -hmm. they match with their culture is what I'm saying. Like the that male female energy type thing. I hear you talk about it a lot and it look it's it sounds like it's something that you I don't know want to explore or something that you assume but w w why is that important to you the male female energy thing Well I think you know it's probably partially a discussion of balance um also because there somewhere along the lines I got the idea that to be feminine was to put yourself in like this negative sort of subservient position and also you're a lot more vulnerable um but i think and and i didn't think that it was something that should be overly like there shouldn't be a whole lot of attention on it but i think like something about like our relationship really um and being able to because i anytime that i was in like a, a relationship or like whatever i always felt like i had to um downplay my strength as like my feminine strength because mm. the strength that I have doesn't always look like like sort of like gentle and sweet. So yeah, it's not it's not a gentle, dainty kind of uh, existence for sure. 
Um, right. So, but it's still like, you're still masculine. I'm still feminine. And, and like, I think that we can like, we pair together like that. So I think it's like the ultimate, maybe because I'm a romantic at heart. To me, it's the ultimate expression of beauty through like a relationship to be able to like have two like almost opposites, but, but similar. Cause like I said, like you have the, the rappers, the female and the masculine, but they're, they're the same type. And the same thing with these Korean situations, like, and, and like us. So I just, I love it. I love the idea of like, um, like there's sometimes like with you, like, I'm like, well, that was a little bit too hard the way that you said that or did that or whatever. But at the same time, like I celebrate the fact that you're, that there is that sort of like not always emotional side to you where it's like, this has to happen or like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But then to be able to look on the opposing side at, you know, like, I think a lot of times I see it when we're, when we're doing stuff with the kids, because you're like the dad, you're coming with like this sort of strength and like, okay, you're going to be able to do better this or that. And I'm like, Oh, go. you know, I'm more like, you know, to, to be on that side of it. And I, and I recognize that my, like maybe gentleness in a certain situation with them, I see sometimes like it just, Oh, I just made them more sad. And I don't necessarily want, I, that's not what I necessarily wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So I know that sometimes they need your strength as a dad, as like, this is like, it gives them like this sort of foundation and this sort of security while at the same time, my energy gives them the availability to say like, it's okay. You don't have to be strong all the time. Um, but it's not like this, like we're just in a blubbering weakness and we can't pick ourselves up. Like women are strong in ourselves. Like we go through childbirth. We, we go through, we, ha we live in a society where it's, it's a male dominated society. So for me, I just, I love any depictions. And I think that, I think I had one picture for like that. I, I've really come to love it more and more as time goes on. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I, I like any depictions of that. Like, even if you're talking about like, even in nature, when you see like, like animals that like, um, that sort of like, they don't look the same, the male and the female, they don't look the same, but they complement each other. I love seeing that too. Mm -hmm. Um, of course, not really don't a fan. Don't them, Dwayne. I'm not really a fan of the duck situation. What duck situation? Because ducks are the the man is the one that's all like beautiful and like. Oh, looking. Oh, I mean, it's oh, it's oh. his way of protecting her, and she blends in with the environment so she can stick with the eggs and stuff. Right. I I do like that women are the more eye catching yeah, maybe, one of the maybe two. Maybe them maybe them female ducks will you know smash the patriarchy together. <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, nine zero two four, kick that drum. My eagles in this show. That's uh. That's an interesting way to put it. My ego is in this show. I've never really heard anybody say, "Yeah, I've got a, I've got an ego, man." Like that's that's uh, that's what I'm on. We always talk about other people and their uh, egomania, but we never we never talk about our own. My ego's in this show. To the moon we go. Hey, this is some crazy form. So, the term form is. That reminds me of my my Taekwondo days because that's mm. another term for kata. It's form. Okay. So it was like, like what style you're in? So you're like, oh, he's in this form. He's in that form. And yeah. Like, you know, like you go to the old Japanese movies, the overdub movies, the uh, you know ninja movies and shit. It was all like that. So when he says this is some crazy form, it's like a new style type of thing, type of uh, discipline, type of thing. Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah, just dance. My Did you notice any of the moves? Were they any, like, kata moves in there or anything? Oh, no. I mean, it, you know, like, it's Taekwondo. I'm, I, they're just Yeah, but I didn't know if they did anything, like, as yeah. they were doing their moves. All of a sudden, like, you see something. No, I, I, no, yeah, I just, when it says crazy form, it just reminded me of all those days I used to be watching the uh, Japan, of, you know, the, the overdubbed, like, karate movies. You, you! Bruce Lee, you know, like, oh man, you don't even know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm yeah, talking about? I, I the do. Over -dub I do. Movies? I do. And you know, basically, that was our Vin and Sorry movie, our Vin and Sorry shows at the beginning too. <laughs> 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 the lining up was a little difficult. Up this crazy form, bring my trophy. Turn on the engine, this turbine. Pull up the drop beat. Heat it up, pump and whoa. I will say that, like. Here, here's one of the main like dissonances I have with, with K-pop. A lot of it sounds exactly the same, and it sounds a little bit formulaic, 
You're going to have the rap interlude in there somewhere. It's going to be hip hop. You're going to be dancing and shit. So that's one aspect of K-pop. But the other aspect of K-pop is that if you look at lyrically what they're doing, they're saying some shit. Mm-hmm. Like they're saying, they're saying a lot of stuff. So, mm-hmm. and, and that's one of the benefits mm-hmm. of actually rap is because rap is a lyrical art form. If you've got shit to say, rap is one of the best ways to do it. Giving yourself a like that that song, uh, "Spit Love When I Wake Up," "Sit Point Let's Say Yeah, the back to the like that's the highlight of the song is the little rap part. So it it, it wasn't at first for you. Yeah, I, I th- yeah, he didn't but like it at first. But yeah, he did a, he did a good job at it. So like, hip hop is kind of like um, like there's one particular song that we wrote that I used like the rap mentality. Yeah. Um, on, but yeah, yeah, like that. That's um, pull up the track. Yeah. So, like it, on the one hand, it's kind of contrived, but on the other hand, these people are really, really writing though. And if they're not writing the lyrics, they're singing them with a certain kind of passion. That oh, yeah. like, especially the first guy that was rapping, the front the, guy. Yeah, the yeah. first first guy that was rapping, he was he was on a shit. Um, leave me alone. I don't mind. Just close your eyes if you think it's unsightly. I will say there were some sexual dance moves happening too. I, they I, always I did, they always out. do that. The girls well, and the guys. They always yeah, the do guy, that. the guy was out there shaking his ass. And I said, "Yo, that's gay, as hell, bro. You want to stay shaking your ass?" <laughs> I, again, I didn't see. It. I, I don't care how lyrics. progressive. I am never gonna not laugh at that man. So I'm never if gonna see you shaking you, your ass. Nah, dude? if you're a dude and you're like <laughs> shaking your ass on stage like a fly girl, man, more power to you. It's just. You're never gonna catch your boy, and I'd literally rather die. Remember that violinist? <laughs> I would literally rather die. Don't name him. Don't name him. Why? Why wouldn't I name the violinist? Well, you know, respect, else, respect to the homies. See, but... Wait, there's a violinist? I can't believe you don't remember. That I knew? Yeah. Where? I, I don't know what you're talking about. You talking about you? What about him? Remember? He did his little. Little fanny dance. Little oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. When he was shaking We're like, his wait, butt. what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Just leave me alone. I don't mind. Just close your eyes if you think it's unsightly. <laughs> That's his answer to you. <laughs> Time is ticking too fast. Can't you see? I'm a warning sign. <laughs> now sing along. Shake it Dwayne, off hard. Dwayne says, I shook my ass on reservation dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you did not. Huh? I don't believe he did. Because didn't we see that scene? All I remember is your glasses. <laughs> and then he said that he was forgot he was supposed to take them off before the scene started. I do remember it was a dance scene, but I, I actually, I remember the lights. I'm sorry, Dwayne, I don't remember your dance either. <laughs> yeah, y'all be nice to Hyro Woot, whatever his name is. Be nice to him. It's okay. He just needs some attention. Just just give him the attention he wants. It's okay. <laughs> just give him some, you want some attention, bro? We'll give you some attention. <laughs> what? People need, I don't, I, look. Uh, Hi-O, whatever your name is. I, we don't know, like, what's been going on in dude's life. No, I, I, I agree you know what I'm 100%. He, he, I was trying to find, you know. uh, I was trying to find, you know, our little, uh, ghosty. Who, ghosty? Yeah, I was going to have him do a little dance. He could shake his little ass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but or I can't maybe, find maybe, it. Maybe, uh, Hi-O Root can, can yeah, do it. Yeah, send us a video. Send us a video. Send oh, us a video. you know what's cool? <laughs> I was, um, I was Keep on Facebook, it. and, you know, like, it comes up in the suggested whatevers, and, like, Somebody was wearing the Sorry Secret shirt in their profile picture, and I didn't know who they were, but it, I don't know, it was just kind of cool. I was like, gang, oh, look at that! Bitch. Look at that! <laughs> gang, 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 616! Uh, 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 Middle just gave Hayo uh, 60 seconds. Yeah, here's the thing, guys. Like, um, I the moderators really have ultimate authority in the channel. Like, I, I mix it, like, me personally, I wouldn't have blocked anybody or whatever, whatever, but the mods are the mods, man. Like, there's only so much I can do for you, dear listener. Yeah. We're 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 a, we're a, uh, we're in a we're a conglomeration here. Um, yeah. The, uh, have you been to all continents? Going going up. My stock index is a red light. Keep putting comma on my paycheck. My green flag still waving. Green okay, so flag. We, we just we just uh, imported some good old fashioned American imperialism there. Because he talked about. Uh, um, putting Red comma line. on my paycheck, my green flag still waving. So that's just, I got money, right? Put a comma on my paycheck means you went from 
being a five figure guy to a six figure guy or whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, this to me is actually the most American K pop song I've heard. You know, you're bragging about the money you got, you know, blah, blah, I mean, blah. To, you know, it, it's, it sounds, more, this sounds like American type hip hop. I think the other thing that I, that I like about it that kind of makes me feel like it's more like kind of party club stuff is that because it's not really in English, like I know that sometimes they put a couple words True. in English. Like I don't True. feel any, except for, I mean, we're, we're a lyric driven channel. So I, I do kind of like watch for that, but there's like a part of me that's like, excellent. Like I could just vibe with the music and if i was in a club i wouldn't have to try to figure out you know are we going to sing any of these parts of the song it's like it is what it is we're just going to move and i kind of like that um Mm -hmm. so i enjoy it for that sort of like freedom aspect of it and i mean even what he's saying now sing along shake it off hard you know i'm fire just move however you want we go up and i kind of felt like that like when the song was playing like the whole just move however you want don't overthink anything like just i mean they obviously are choreographed but we don't have to be. I feel like this is their 90s. It seems like it. It, it just seems Some like to me. Some of the clothes me, and stuff that the girls were wearing reminds yeah. me of the 90s also. Yeah, it, it's it's uh it's like the 90s. It's it's kind of it's kind of it's 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 interesting to watch. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's really really interesting. What did you get this song? Uh, I'm going to give this one a 9. I'm going to give this one a solid a 7.4. Club song again for 7.4 dear listener. <laughs> Here's Ian. I am funnier than most realize. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right, you guys. Up next is Twice One Spark. We'll be right back. Twice One Spark, bitches. We'll be on the other side of the break. Vin out. Sorry out. Gone. Timestamp. 